What's up guys? Happy Vlogmas day one. Let's roll the intro. My first Jetta got totaled and we got stuck in the- I know you really wanted a Jeep, like I know you think that I was just super excited. Every time I walk in here. I'm gonna need you to calm it down for, for a second because uh, I'm trying to start Vlogmas. So, hello, if you guys are new to my channel, my name's Catherine. I am so excited for Vlogmas. This is my favorite time of year. Love for you guys to stick around, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys love Vlogmas too. Cannot believe it's Vlogmas day one. That's crazy. The month of November absolutely flew by, and it's, it's literally just insane how fast, like this whole year flew by, like it's already, it's already December, like what? What is this? So, in my head I'm still trying to figure out like the breakdown of Vlogmas, how I'm gonna do it, because I know I'm gonna only post probably four videos a week to try to not overwhelm myself. Uh, I have two nanny jobs. I have a new one that starts on Monday. I have my YouTube channel that I'm constantly working on. I also run an online store, which is my own business. That's always linked down below. So, lots of things going on and a very busy December to come. But I'm so excited for Vlogmas season. It's literally the best time of year. I love it. And this year we have Bentley to join us for Vlogmas. It's gonna be his first Vlogmas. We had our first Thanksgiving together. It was so cute. I took a photo with him. He's literally already just getting so big. If you guys didn't know, I have a 14 week old, which I'm like, I couldn't <laughs> couldn't figure out the months that quickly, so it's just easier for me to like remember the weeks. Ow, get down, dude, that hurts. So like, I feel like one of those like new moms like when they ask, when someone asks like, oh, how old is your baby? And you say like, oh, like this many weeks. And they're like, you mean like three months? And then you're like, well, yeah. <laughs> so I feel sometimes when someone asks me and I still say like, oh, he's like this many weeks. I'm like, I guess I could start saying like his months now that he's old enough for that. We're, uh, we're coming up on four months in December. So I think that's right. Something, something, yeah. Cause 12 weeks is three months, so. We're working our way to four months, guys. He's getting big. He is a German Shepherd and Lab mix. He's adorable. He's getting in trouble right now, but I will show you guys. Bentley. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> it's my wild child. I love him. And, uh, whoa, he loves the camera. So, you'll see lots of him this vlogmas. I think for today's vlogmas. I'm going to give you guys the rundown on my brand new Jeep. So excited. I just purchased a Jeep two weeks ago. I've had him for two weeks now. Um, so I will show you guys my Jeep, give you like the specs for all the car people out there that are super interested. And um, also give you guys like the rundown of what went down when I got my Jeep because it was a very last minute kind of decision, but it all worked out. Uh, but yeah, I'll explain, I'll explain all of that a little bit. Um, I'm gonna get ready and I think, I can't decide if I'm gonna go grab some breakfast or uh, try to make something here. I haven't decided yet. It's almost nine o'clock, it's 8.40 right now. Well, let's, let's just get started on the day. I've got a video that needs to go live today and going out with my friend later. I might go to my friend's show even later. It's at like 10 or 11 tonight. Uh, so, still figuring out details for that. That's the rundown for today. Literally, every time I walk in here. Ugh, love my car so much. My car's a little bit of a mess, but it's fine. Hi, dude. Okay, you wanna get in? You wanna get in the car? Nope, nope, that's not. It's not your spot. Come here. Come here. So cute. Oh, I got my shoes in here. Whoopsies. Okay. Alright, dude. Alright. Oh, jeez. I'm crazy. Oh, that's what I didn't do. Okay, he's a little too wild right now. 
Hey. Hi. I forgot to cinch a piece on his uh, harness. There we go. Cool, dude, cool. Let's close this. Such a handy feature. Love my car so much. So does Bentley. All right, so let me just hop in here so I can chat with you guys. All right, details on the car. I financed a 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee altitude package. It's only a 4x2. I live in California. I don't really need the 4x4 um, at the moment. Obviously, I can always upgrade if I end up needing a car that's 4x4, but... I'm just being real. Also didn't want to drop another like three, four grand on <laughs> a four by four, but it's fine. This baby will be able to do a lot of things. So I got my Jeep at the Jack Powell dealership in Escondido. Huge shout out to them. They are honestly awesome. All of the people that I worked with were so incredibly nice. They made sure that I obviously like got the deal that I wanted. I left there happy customer, left there with a new car and it all just worked out really well. But there's a story to come with that, obviously. This this is probably like the best story that I've had going out to buy a car. And like, I've had some experiences going to buy a car. But this one was probably the funniest and uh, most memorable, that's for sure. My Jeep has so many features, I am literally in love. Basically all of the same kind of standard features that I had in my Jetta, but better. Um, I still have my Apple CarPlay, which is one thing that I absolutely love. I have the backup camera. I have the little sensors um, on my mirrors, which is something that I didn't have in my Jetta, but that's something that I really wanted um, in this new car. and still push to start which is really nice I have the um, leather interior and the like suede inserts so I have heated front seats I have a heated steering wheel which is incredibly nice because if you guys know anything about me I get cold so easily and literally just having that small feature was probably like the biggest deal for me <laughs> I absolutely love it um, if you guys are in the market for a car my camera doesn't want to focus on me this always happens but if you guys are like seriously interested in the market for a Jeep um, or just a car in general and you want to go check out Jack Powell DM me and let me know and I have a few names that I can share with you guys if you guys are interested um, they were really great people to work with and they were literally so nice about everything so let me back out so I can head over and get breakfast because I need more coffee I have made myself one coffee today but it's one of those days where I'm gonna need more coffee to get through it <laughs> look at how cute Bentley looks back there look at that I love it so much He's so happy with my new car. So that was another thing. Um, my Jetta was just getting too small between the nanny jobs that I was having. Bentley's gonna only get bigger and I needed space for him. I just wanted, I've always wanted a bigger um, a car. Like, a, I guess this is, this is not like a huge SUV. I guess it's like a smaller SUV, but it's literally like the perfect size that I needed. And I just feel so much safer in my car than I did in my Jetta because if you guys have been following me for a while you know that my first Jetta got totaled it was like a horrible situation I was terrified to drive for a little while after that and then ended up renting my brother's FRS which is an even smaller car than my Jetta and then I went back to another Jetta and I wanted to get a bigger car instead of getting another Jetta but that's a different story so now that I have my Jeep I love him so much. I named him Cooper. I felt like I was gonna go with a girl name again because my last car's name was Stella. She was a beauty. But I don't know, when I was thinking of names, Cooper just came to mind and uh, it stuck. So, Bentley's being such a good boy. All right, I'm gonna head out and grab breakfast. Um, once I get to my mom's, I will tell you guys the story and I will give you like an actual tour of the inside of my car, what it looks like, everything like that. So, yeah, 
thumbs up if you guys are enjoying this video so far and uh, thumbs up for Bentley. All right guys, I'm gonna try to figure out a placement for my camera so that you can actually see me. It's like leaning super far down. I don't know if I'm in focus. Uh, while I wait in the super long drive through line, I can tell you guys <laughs> the rundown. Um, so, I went in on a whim, um, knowing that they had like decently good deals at the moment. They had like their Black Friday sale going on. Um, so they had really good pricing, especially for the Jeep that I picked up. So I go in and my friend Nastasia, if you guys don't know Nastasia, she's a gem. She got her Jeep two weeks, I think, before I did, or a few weeks before. So she recommended this dealership. She recommended me to go in and work with the same sales guy that she worked with. She said he was super nice. He wasn't super pushy. Like, he really worked with her. And I was like, cool, that's what I need because I hate going to dealerships where the salespeople are just super pushy. They don't want to work with you. They're all about making the sale. Like, most most dealerships are like that, um, but it, that wasn't my experience at Jack Powell. They were super nice about everything. So anyways, I go in to see this specific guy, and they were like, oh, he's busy right now. Um, like, the other guy in the front can help you out. So I was like, okay, like, that's fine. Like, I'll have this guy help me until um, the other salesperson is back from his lunch or whatever. And... So I told him like the Jeep that I was looking for, I wanted the black on black, it was like a very specific model. So he's like, oh okay, let's just hop in this car, we'll go over to the storage lot and get the model that you're looking for. And I was like, okay cool. So we drive over there and at first I pulled up the wrong <laughs> number on the car. and. So he like starts pulling cars out and I was like, oh, I'm really sorry. This one has way too much chrome. I was like, I don't think that's the one that I was interested in. I was like, I'm really sorry. I think it's actually this one. So he's like, oh no, that's fine. Like puts the cars back and then goes to the next row, pulls out the two cars. Cause the one that I wanted was in the back row behind the other cars. So he goes to pull the model Jeep out that I wanted and someone had backed the Jeep bumper up and over the like little power box that was on the ground and so he pulls the Jeep out and I just hear this loud like pop and I was like I'm pretty sure something just got ruined and so he like hops out of the car and we both look at the bumper and it was like shredded on the bottom and I was like I'm I'm not buying that Jeep. I was like, I'm sorry, but I, if I'm buying a brand new car, I'm going to buy a brand new car, not one with like a messed up bumper. So they were like, oh no, like that's totally fine. Like they're going to fix it in house, figure all that out. Um, so then I was like, all right, I'm still interested. Um, like find me the exact same Jeep, same specs, everything that I was looking for. And like we can we can continue working together so I felt so bad I made him like go back and forth between a few cars and like read like spec by spec I was like make sure it's the exact same like this is what I want I knew what I wanted going in there so we like find a car and he like goes back and forth like re reading through things and I was like all right cool like sounds like it's the same that's fine so like we hop in and go for a test drive in there and we start driving around and this is a super busy Saturday literally like the weekend before Black Friday or two weekends before so super busy at the mall that we have over there in Escondido and I usually try to avoid all malls and places like that at this time of year because I hate crowds like that so he this poor dude was like so flustered <laughs> from this whole this mishap that had happened like it totally wasn't his fault and so he accidentally guides me into the mall parking lot thinking that like oh we can just turn around really quickly and like go back to the dealership and we got stuck in the mall parking lot for probably like 10 15 minutes and by the time that like we actually left the mall parking lot and got back to the dealership we had probably been on this test drive for 30 minutes and if anyone has ever gone to test drive a car usually it's like a five minute ten minute max maybe if they're like super kind and this was like a 30 minute test drive by the time <laughs> that I was done and in my head I was just like I mean like it's not this dude's fault like this is just a really interesting story I mean it makes for a good oh, hold on I got to order is he's he or a, she? a boy he's 14 <laughs> weeks 
Thank you. Thanks. So we get back to the dealership. The test drive had already been super long. Um, and like by that point, obviously, like when I was going into the dealership, I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew what I wanted for my trade in and everything. And I was like, you know what? Like if we can't work a deal, I'm going to walk away. I was like, I don't, I don't need a new car. I, I wanted a new car. Um, cause I, I mean, I needed a space, but like I obviously could have waited. So it wasn't like I needed to just spend all this money on a brand new car. So in the end, it all worked out. They gave me the deal that I wanted. They were super nice about it. And Bentley's going crazy now. <laughs> Look at him. Look at how cute he is. I think he loves my Jeep. He has so much more space. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to fix his uh, tether. Cause I usually like um, clip him into the seat so he's super secure. Um, but I got him a new harness. So the harness has like an extra probably five, six inches compared to like the last harness that I had because it has like the cinch cinching feature, which is actually super nice. Um, so now he's got a few extra, not feet, a few extra inches that he can like lean forward or like get in the back. Hold on, let me grab my food. Right. Thank you. Bye, Thanks, you too. Okay, cool. Make sure I got it all right this time. Awesome. Okay. I'll finish the story at my mom's. All right. So here we have my beautiful heated steering wheel. Love it. Uh, love the little features on the dash. And then I still have the same little magnetic clip. I got a lot of questions about this um, in one of my videos. It is just, oh, there's my hair on it. Don't mind that. Hey, Bentley. You're doing good, bud. Um, so this part is <laughs> magnetic, and then this just like slides into your air vent. Um, so I just have it there, and then I have a magnet on the back of my phone right here. So it just sits like that. It does block <laughs> Bentley. It does block an air vent because my phone is so big. Um, it was a little different in my last car, um, so I'm still getting used to that, but yeah. This is really handy, keep my phone there, and then I can control all of the things up here. I have a really nice screen, which I was super stoked about with this car, and all the, all the details. I love this little hidden thing down here, so you can charge two phones, you can have an aux cord, and then there is like cool little double feature right here which is super awesome and then I usually keep napkins and cleaning cloths and stuff to like wipe down my screen with all the fingerprints and everything that happen um yeah so I have the little microfiber cloths in there and yeah I love I honestly didn't even notice the uh detail on the dash until the next day <laughs> um because I bought my car at night and it's all black on black but this is a really cool little detail that goes all the way across. I'm super stoked about it. And then one thing, this may sound super stupid, but one thing that I was super excited about is that I have automatic lights in this Jeep. Um, because in my Jetta, I didn't have automatic lights. I had to switch them on and off all the time. And my mom borrowed my car a few times and she actually left the lights on all night and drained the battery in my car this was my first jetta that i had and she drained the battery in my car probably like a few months after i had gotten it so <laughs> i told her i was like we have automatic lights in my jeep you don't have to worry about that anymore i don't have to worry about her leaving my lights on if she borrows my car um and then we've got the back seats back here um i have this little hammock thing in here for bentley to protect my seats because dog it's gonna get dirty but I want to keep my seats looking really nice so I went to TJ Maxx and just got this cool little hammock thing it just clips and then when I nanny I have like I unclip the um, two covers and then I can just put the car seats on the car on the car cover on the seat cover so I'm still protecting my seats because everybody knows kids are super messy they like to eat food spill stuff everywhere um, one of the little boys I nanny he's so cute but he spills his water in my car every time we're together so now I have the uh, protector since my seats aren't all leather they are um, like the suede insert so 
that I don't want to get that part super dirty because it's a little bit harder to clean than obviously like fake leather or real leather seats so this is this is our new view in my car and I love it I love my Jeep so much it's it's been a long time coming and I've been saying I've wanted a Jeep for probably eight years now and I still remember the day that I was in high school and I had just gotten my Jetta actually and like when you get your first car, um, I was very fortunate to have my parents be able to get my first car for me. Um, this is the second car that I've purchased on my own. So um, with that, um, I got the Jetta and then my mom knew that I still always wanted a Jeep. So she went out one day and like ended up seeing a Jeep keychain somewhere. I need to find this keychain. I'm gonna have to go home and find it and show you guys this keychain so that it can like add to this whole story. But she bought me a Jeep keychain and she's like, I know you really wanted a Jeep, like I know you love it, so this is like a little bit of inspiration, like someday it's gonna happen. Here we are, eight years later, and I finally have my Jeep. And I am just, I feel so blessed to be able to afford a, a Jeep this nice. And let me just tell you guys, Keep working hard, follow your dreams, because someday your hard work will pay off. It might take five years, it might take 10 years. Everybody's growth and like success comes at different points in their lives. A lot of people didn't even start successful companies until they were like well into their 30s and 40s. And here we are, well, here I am in my 20s, like stressing myself out over that, like feeling like I'm not as successful as like somebody else in their 20s. but. That's one thing that we have to remember is not to compare our success to somebody else's because everybody has different opportunities and everybody's success comes at different times. Now hold on because I think Bentley's ripping something up in the back. <laughs> he stopped the minute that I said that. You knew. You knew you were being a bad boy. Ooh, he's getting feisty. But moral of the story, guys. Keep following your dreams, keep working hard, and you'll be able to live the life that you want to live someday. So just remember, everybody's success comes at different times. Do not compare your life to somebody else's because that's literally never going to do anything good for you. So those are uh, my little words of motivation for the day. Um, if I go home later and find the Jeep keychain, I will go ahead and like show you guys at the end of this video. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog too much more today because the whole uh, purpose of this vlog is to talk about my car, show you guys the features, stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go say hello to my mom and my grandparents and uh, get Bentley out of my car because he's a little anxious right now because we've been sitting in the car for a little while. 